So hey guys, how welcome to the MBBS Nigeria YouTube channel. It's a channel for medical students worldwide. And in today's lecture, I'll be talking about the structure of the uterus, okay? But I'll be focusing more on the support of the uterus, okay? So structure and support of the uterus, okay? So now, basically, guys, this is the uterus, okay? This is the uterus, okay? And these are like the supports of the uterus, like the structures that actually hold uterus in place, okay? Let's proceed. We said that, uh, let's introduce the uterus. So that the uterus is a thick walled muscular organ that is capable to to uh, to uh of expanding to accommodate a growing fetus, okay? So right here, you know that we are talking about um, the female reproductive system, okay? So the, the uterus is actually what can expand, okay? It has the endometrium, um, where they fertilize zygote after um, um, dividing into the blastocyst with what implant, okay? So the uterus being small like this can actually expand as the fetus grows, okay? So that's what this um, introduction means. So it expands to accommodate a growing fetus. And it is connected distally to the vagina, okay? That's a way to the vagina, okay? And um, laterally, okay, on the both side, it's connected to the word uterine tubes. These are the uterine tubes on one side, on the right, and one on the left, okay? That's laterally. Then next, we'll be saying that the uterus has three parts, okay? And these three parts, we have the fundus, okay? We have the fundus, which is the top of the uterus. Let's look at the fundus. This is a fundus. This is top of the uterus, all right? Above the entry point of the uterine tubes, okay? We also have the body, which is um, the usual site for implantation. Of course, you know that this is the body, all right? That's where we have the endometrium for implantation of the blastocyst. Then we have the cervix, which is the lower part of the uterus linking with the vagina distally, okay? And uh, you see where they see, um, they write CX, all right? CX is where they call the cervix, okay? So that's it, let's move to the next chapter. So that uterus is primarily what supported by the pelvic diaphragm, the perineal body, and the urogenital what diaphragm, okay? So now the uterus is primarily supported by what? Um, the pelvic diaphragm, the perineal body, and the urogenital diaphragm. So now, structures of the internal genitalia, that's the female reproductive system, are supported by the pelvic floor musculature, pelvic fascia, and ligaments on both sides of the uterus, okay? So now, there are a number of ligamental structures that attach to the uterus, and they can be divided by where they attach to the uterus, okay? So we'll be focusing more on these um, ligamental structures because um, this is a common examination question, okay? Where they're asking you about the ligaments that actually support the uterus. Okay, so be looking at the lecture, I'll be referring back. So on the superior aspect, we have um, the broad ligament and the round ligament, okay? So where is the broad ligament? This is the broad ligament and this is the round ligament, okay? The same information we have here on the superior or the upper, okay, is the same thing. Then, uh, looking at the middle aspect, um, we said that um, the middle aspect is supported by what? Um, cardinal, pubocervical, and uterosacral ligament, okay? Um, let's look at it. Um, cardinal should be same thing as transverse, okay? So let's see if we can be, okay, so, Cardinal, okay, cardinal ligament, uterosacral ligament, and what's uh, pubocervical? I think we don't have pubocervical um, on this, okay, labeled on this, okay, but pubocervical that should be like from the pubis, okay, to the cervix, okay, pubocervical, okay. Then, um, on to the next, guys, we said that the round ligaments. The round ligaments are rope-like bands of connective tissue that support the uterus, okay? 
Now there are about ten. Uh, uh, there are about two round ligaments of the uterus, one on either side. Okay, on the lateral side. Okay, and each is about what, four inches long or ten centimeter. Right. So now this is a, a round ligament again. You can see that it is here. And if this was not dissected, you see another one on this side too, okay? So it's about four inches long, okay? So I think um, the main emphasis on the round ligament because maybe it is like um, a major support of the uterus, okay? So these are the supports of the uterus. Round ligament, broad ligaments, um transverse ligaments proboscervical ligaments uterus sacral ligaments and all have you okay so this is a good lecture do like this lecture and subscribe to our youtube channel okay so bye for now